Hey, welcome back to the channel and I hope you guys enjoyed that little b-roll sequence in the beginning. I actually shot that with my new Sony a7 IV and I also picked up some new plugins that I got from Motion VFX. So if you're on Final Cut, you should definitely check them out and I'll link them down below in the description so you can pick up your own a7 IV, but also check out the plugins from Motion VFX. Now, Motion VFX isn't sponsoring this video, but we do have a sponsor, Lark, which I'll talk more about later in the video because their Purvis bottle is actually pretty legit and I think some of you may actually wanna pick one up for travel. Now, if you're new here and you end up enjoying this video, please make sure to subscribe as we're trying to get to 50K subscribers by the end of the year. And with your help, I think we can get there way faster. So let's start off the video with the bag itself. This is the Air Travel Pack 3 X Pack Edition. This is their small version, which I believe is a 28 liter bag. It's still pretty big. And I do also have the Air Travel Pack 3 normal size, which is a 35 liter bag. Now what's awesome about this bag is that it's got a ton, I mean a ton of zippers and pockets that you can put all your tech products and clothes in. Now there's three main zippers or compartments that you can access up at the top. There's one in the back for your laptop and the second one which is for my clothes and the cool thing about this this actually opens up all the way which is really nice and the third is for my smaller go-to tech products now this travel pack 3 also features discrete pockets all around the bag so you can store your wallet or passport or phones and have quick access to them but this also has a dedicated water bottle pocket on the side for my lark water bottle that i carry with me everywhere so kicking things off with the first product in this video is the lark purvis water bottle this this is their self-cleaning insulated water bottle, which not only cleans the water bottle, but also purifies your water, which will actually eliminate up to 99% of biocontaminants such as E. coli. Now, what's really cool about this water bottle from Lark is the Pure Vis tech inside the bottle. It self-cleans the bottle every two hours to eliminate harmful bacteria, but you can also press the button to manually trigger the self-cleaning function, which is actually really nice. Uh, and you can get them in two sizes. This one is the 17 ounce, which is perfect for travel, but you can also get the bigger 25 ounce if you need to carry more water with you. Now, they also come in a few different colors to match your style. Now, if all you want is something simple, then you can opt into get their filtered bottle, which I also have right here. And this basically filters your water using their Nano Zero filter technology, which removes lead, heavy metals, and chlorine to give you the best tasting water you can drink. And it comes with a low profile straw, so you can just sip and stay hydrated. But these caps are also interchangeable. So if you want, you can use the Purvis cap to purify your water and the bottle, and then use the filtered cap with the low profile straw to drink. So if you're traveling or working long hours and want the best and freshest water, make sure to pick this up and stay hydrated and sustainable by checking out Lark's Pure Vis bottle and filter bottle by clicking the first link down below. And special thanks to Lark for sponsoring a portion of this video. Now up next, let's talk about the laptop that I started using more and more recently when I travel, and that's the Razer Blade 14 with the RTX 3080. I actually made a review on this not too long ago, but I love this thing. It's relatively portable with a 14 inch, 165 Hertz display, and it can run almost all my AAA title games like Warzone, Forza, or even Halo Infinite in its highest settings. Now, if I do need to game and get serious, I gotta make sure I pack a good gaming mouse. And that's where this new Razer Viper Pro V2 comes into play. Now, this is Razer's answer to Logitech's G Pro Super Light Mouse. And I gotta admit it, Razer did it. It's lighter than the Logitech by a few grams, and honestly, this is perfect for travel since it barely adds any weight to my bag. Now, if I'm playing something like FIFA or NBA 2K, then that's where my Xbox controller comes in, and this is the Cyberpunk 2077 edition controller, and I like to plug this into the computer so I don't have crazy latency when I'm gaming. And as for the audio, I usually just use the built-in speaker or I just plug in my Sony WH-1000XM5s via the headphone jack, and since it's plugged in, you get little to no latency, so whenever I try to play first-person shooting, this comes in handy. Now, I try not to play online first-person shooting when I travel because one, my internet is most likely crappy, and two, the screen is way too small for anything competitive, so if I'm gaming, it's usually just very casual. All right, now in the very front bag pocket is where most of the smaller and everyday tech carry is stored, so I have an iPad Pro here with the white Magic Keyboard, 
And this is actually the 2018 11 inch iPad Pro, which is honestly such a good iPad for the price. I picked this up refurbished from Apple and saved me a ton of money compared to buying the M1 iPad Pro. Now, I also added some dbrand skins to the actual iPad and the Magic Keyboard to make it more unique, but also make sure I don't get scratches on the iPad and get the keyboard all dirty since it's the all white Magic Keyboard. Now, I went with the iPad Pro because I get ProMotion, four gigs of RAM, which is honestly more than enough for what I need it, uh, and the A12X processor, which in reality, in day-to-day -day usage, you won't really be able to tell the difference in performance with the M1 iPads just yet. But yeah, it still runs like a beast in 2022, and this is what I use if I need to write scripts, answer emails, or sign any contracts to come in. And I also pack my Logitech crayon in case I need a pen for the iPad, but I'll be honest here, I don't really need the Apple Pencil or crayon. I just have it in the bag if I do need to sign documents. Now, I also like to bring a mirrorless camera with me, and the one I like to carry now is the Sony a7 IV with the Sony 50mm f1.2 GM, so I can get some really beautiful looking bocalicious shots. And since the a7 IV can crop into an APS-C mode instead of using full frame, I can technically get an 85mm equivalent if I want a more close-up shot. Plus, that 33 megapixel comes in handy when I'm cropping in on a photo, so, you know, I love this thing. Now I did mention earlier that I used the Sony WH-1000 XM5s with the Blade 14 and besides using this as my headphones for gaming, I also use it for when I'm on the plane and since this offers the best noise cancellation feature on any headphones currently, this is my choice when I travel. Now I also carry an AirPods Pro with me for everyday listening, it's in a Nomad leather case which looks really beautiful and surprisingly enough still works with MagSafe. Then I have the air travel kit in this compartment as well that carries the smaller tech products like cables and accessories for charging. And here I keep the MagSafe Duo for my iPhone and Apple Watch. Then I have a couple of accessories from Satechi, like a 10 inch braided USB-C to USB-C. And I also have a lightning version as well. Now this is their all-in-one battery bank called the Quattro. Now this has a built-in Apple Watch charger, a built-in wireless charger on top of the battery bank, and it's got a USB-C and USB-A port. And then I have their USB-C to SD card reader that I can use for my Blade 14 or iPad Pro so I can transfer photos from the Sony a7 IV. Oh, I also have the new Samsung T7 Shield just in case I need to transfer files over to an external drive. You just never know when you're gonna need an external drive when traveling, so this comes in handy. Plus, this is their new rugged external SSD which has this rubber exterior and IP65 water and dust resistant and drop resistant. It uses USB-C so I can use it for my iPad or Razer Blade. And the transfer rate on these are about 750 to 850 megabytes a second read and write. So this thing is an absolute beast. It's small, portable, rugged, and it fits perfectly inside this kit bag. Now in the middle compartment is where I'll usually pack a few shirts and pants and I can even pack another pair of shoes or other miscellaneous things in here, uh, which makes this backpack really the ultimate travel bag. So if you're looking to travel without any suitcases and you're only gonna be out of town for the weekend, the Air Travel Pack 3 is a solid choice. Again, this is the small version, so you can opt in to get the normal 35 liter size and pack way more things inside. But yeah, besides that, I keep an AirTags hooked up inside the backpack using this rugged Nomad AirTags case to make sure I know where my bag is at all times. And I also have a secondary phone, which is usually a Pixel or whatever Android phone I'm reviewing next in case something happens to my iPhone when I'm traveling. But the one that I've been leaning more towards lately is the S22 Ultra. It's it's a massive phone, but it's feature packed, which is not something I can say about the Pixel 6. But yeah, that's my go-to tech travel bag and what I usually pack with me. Nowadays when I travel, I try not to think about making videos unless it's a work trip. That's why I don't have a bunch of camera gear and my MacBook here for editing. Uh, this is strictly for when I head out of town for a few days and I want to travel light. Anyways, that's been it for this video. Huge shout out again to Lark for sponsoring a portion of this video. So make sure to show them some love and check out the first link in the description below to learn more about the Lark Purevis water bottle. And yeah, I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you.